Hey guys, uh, sorry it's been a while since I've done an update um, and there's a few things that I wanted to, to talk about today. Um, I've had a few people talk, I've been chatting to friends recently uh, who are in fairly early stages of their transition um, by by their assessment of it, not, not what I'm saying, that's what they're saying to me, fairly early. Um, and I think this question keeps coming up of Oh, why am I doing this? What you know? What am I hoping to achieve? Um, can I make it work? Um, I have one friend. I won't name them because I don't want to, you know, embarrass them or or anything like that. I have one friend who, at the moment, is is really struggling. Um, I think she's quite nervous about you know what problems transition is going to cause versus what problem is this, it's going to result. In fact, I've got a couple of friends that are saying similar. I've got one friend who um, who's who's actually detransitioned, so, so he started a transition and then stopped and is now going back through transition again. Um, and it got me thinking that, the, there's, for want of a better word, I'm sorry, I'm struggling to think of the right words, motivation. Um, is is the key, I think. The more I think about it, the transition for me wasn't a way to solve problems. There was one quite significant problem, but it wasn't a way for me to solve problems. I've got all of the normal worries, all of the normal stresses, all of the, the same sorts of problems that everybody else has got, and transition won't change hasn't changed and won't change that I think I spoke about this before and I did mention that you know yeah sure okay there's probably some special problems that are you know down to transition or part of the fact that I'm transitioning that I have these certain particular issues but they're not they're not that that big a deal um the more I think about it you know the question of sort of why am I putting myself through this? The answer comes back that I didn't really have a choice. I was already going through this. I think what it sort of boils down to is that I don't really sort of think transition's the best word for it. So I haven't changed, I'm not a new person. I've always been me. And I suppose more than anything else when people talk about what, you know, a transition, it's, it's moving from being me inside to letting everyone else sort of see who I actually am um, and so that took some of the pressure off I think really because I wasn't trying to change who I was I was just trying to make sure that you know I suppose how I look for one of a better phrase or, or how I present or how I'm perceived that's the word how I am perceived externally is more reflective of who I am internally. So that's really what transition is for me. Did I do it to solve a problem? Um, well, apart from the, the obvious, that there was this, you know, huge disparity between sort of who I was and who people saw me as. But no, I didn't think that, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna be happier by being a woman. No, no. As it happens, I'm a lot happier, but I'm I'm happier because I can tackle the problems I've got as my authentic self. Not happier because I transitioned. Well, I am happier because I transitioned, but I didn't transition just to be happier. You know, I transitioned to be honest, to be true with who I am, about who I am, and I'm I'm happier as a result of that, but it ha it's not a sort of quick fix. Well, nothing quick about it, but it's not a fix for, for you know other problems. Um, I mean, I've got I've got friends who've got um, you know issues in in their sort of in their love life, dating problems and things like that, and I find that they're asking that they're sort of questioning whether transitions made that more difficult. Um, honestly, I think the answer is, I. it all boils back to this sort of, 
if you haven't got a choice in the matter, then it's largely irrelevant. I had to change how I how I presented. I had to align how I'm perceived with who I am. I didn't have a choice. I've been through some really low, like really low, sorry, really low points. Um, and even when things were sort of at, you know, they're very, very darkest, there was still no option. It wasn't still, oh, don't worry, I can detransition or not transition or stop going forward because I couldn't, you know, it, there's, it's not a choice for me. This is just who I am and the hiding that and the pressure of constantly being perceived differently to how you are, uh, to, to who I am was making those other things unbearable so I guess I don't know I mean what can you do you can try and rationalize it you could try and weigh up the pros and cons you know if I think sort of is my is my sort of future happiness at risk from you know from from living my my authentic life potentially things could go wrong um no, that I've been quite lucky. There hasn't been a sort of massive backlash or anything like that. So I've been quite lucky. Um, not everybody is that lucky. I get that. I mean, to be clear, had had my problems, right? Um, was my happiness on uh, at risk? Yeah, you know, I don't want to be over dramatic, but my life was at risk. So I think I'm at less risk now of being unhappy in my future than I was, or at a different different risk, but it feels like less. Um, would I, would I ever consider sort of stopping transition, detransitioning, whatever you want to call it? No, I can't. It's just not a consideration. I, I can't go back to living a false life, living back, living a false life. Um, you know, is transition going to solve all of my problems? No, it's not. No. When I wake up tomorrow, I'm still going to have problems. I'm still going to have all of the, roughly all of the same problems I had before. There's one, one less problem, I'll grant you. But generally, all of the problems that I had before, I've still got. The truth is that what I now have is the strength. I've got a renewed energy, a renewed strength for life because I'm dealing with those those problems now without having to deal with them as as somebody else I'm dealing with those problems as my true as my authentic self and that is the truth of it really no transition did not solve all of my problems frankly I might have in early days figured it, it would have helped with a few and I know a few people are asking that question they're literally asking me that question you know will transition help me it's helped me definitely I'm loads happier. I'm, I'm, but it's helped me because I can now deal with the problems that I was having anyway. From as myself, just as myself, I'm just dealing with the same problems as myself. That's what it's been about for me, um, more than anything else. So anyway, sorry. It was only because people keep asking me these these sorts of questions. Um, there's a big difference, isn't there, between a fear of will this fix everything and a fear of can I actually make it work for me? Can I actually make a viable life? Um, I think the first question is, is, is a moot point. No, it won't fix everything, all right? Clear cut. But the second question, can, can one actually make a viable life out of it? Well, I am. I mean, you know, if I can sort of do it, so can you. Um, you know, it's there's going to be a lot of hiccups. There's going to be a lot of problems. There's a lot of fears. Are you going to lose friends? Are you going to lose family? I don't know. You know, and to be honest, you won't really know until until the time comes to, to sort of have those conversations. But in reality, like I said, for me, it just wasn't a choice. Being trans is not a choice. Um, anyway, sorry, I sort of got a bit more 
deep and emotional than I thought it was getting. Um, but it's a lot easier than writing it down. So anyway, uh, I don't know if this is any help to anybody at all. Thank you so much for continuing to listen to my ramblings. Guys, please, I love the likes, I love the subscribes. I don't know, I'm just a massive dopamine addict, still clearly very self-obsessed. Apologies. Um, but no, guys, seriously, I mean, I know there's people out there asking these questions, so if someone's happy to answer them, then, you know, feel free to share. All right, guys, thanks very much. Please have a good uh, good day, good week, good month, good however long it's going to be before I next post one of these videos. And uh, speak to you soon. Bye.